Hello guys, time for another video, which is going to be another DVD, oh shit, scratches there, going to be another DVD review, and I'm in a different room today, look, it's my living room, yeah, <laughs> um, this DVD review is going to be Shawn Michaels from The Vault, I brought this in a computer game shop, few months ago for the lovely sum of £2.99 and I have to say it could be close to the best £2.99 I've ever spent on something like this. It is an awesome DVD. Let's just say that straight away. You know, if, if Especially if you're a fan of Shawn Michaels, even if you're not, how can you argue with like the wrestling that's on here? I mean, you have like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a weird mood today. Seven matches. Seven of his classic matches. Um, ranging from a number of years. Starts off with um, an AWA Tag Team Championship match. With him and Marty Jannetty as the Midnight Rockers against Playboy, Buddy Rose and Doug Summers. Um, very good match. Like, just a great brawl, really. Um, has a lot of blood in it. That's the one where, like, Shawn Michaels is bleeding a lot. And just the crowd reaction in it's brilliant. As is most 80s territory crowds. They're awesome. Give a lot of reaction because they're like the pretty boy baby faces, and obviously, they don't like their little heart throbs being bloodied, bloody mess, a crimson mass. It's brilliant. I want to watch more AWA because um, what I see of it is good. I know there's some channels on YouTube that show a lot of it, but um, yeah. Good start, good start. And then there's the Intercontinental Championship ladder match between him and Razor Ramon at WrestleMania 10. Yeah, classic match, classic. It was one of my all-time favourites for a while. Um, just good stuff. I don't need to talk about it, really. I'm sure most people have seen it. And then it goes on to the Iron Man match versus Bret Hart at WrestleMania 12. It's obvious why this is on here. I mean, it is seen as like an iconic and landmark of a match, granted. But I think I'm in the camp that finds it slightly overrated. Although it is a good match, I think that there was too many rest holds. I think there could have been more pinfalls than just the sudden death one at the end. Um, I think it probably shouldn't have been an Iron Man match to start with, to be honest. I think it should have just been a great match with those two going back and forth at it. It wasn't really like they were working with each other, you know. Um, didn't have a great flow all the way through. Um, I think it could have been a lot better than it was. And I know there are better Iron Man matches out there, for definite. And, um, yeah, but nonetheless, it's still a historic moment. Shawn Michaels picks up his first world title. And, um, obviously, it's, like, quite a legendary WrestleMania match. Um, yeah, so that's why it's on there. I mean, I hadn't watched that match for a number of years. And some of it, I said, I've been, I didn't remember Shawn Michaels going for the super kick and hitting that, like, timekeeper or something that was funny stuff and um i think there was certain points in the match i think like it was between the 10 they had about 20 minutes left sure michaels went for a moonsault or something like that i think like he should have got a pinfall then i think bret hart should have got some kind of pinfall around the half hour mark should have evened up even if it was evened up then went into sudden death i would have preferred it that way but yeah, nonetheless, I understand why it's on here. It's still a part of Shawn Michaels' history. Um, and it goes on to disc two. No holds barred match. Shawn Michaels versus Big Daddy Cool Diesel, Kevin Nash. 
just a classic hardcore match. Great stuff. Shawn Michaels really set the ball rolling. He was on fire in this match. Um, Diesel, like Kevin Nash, is probably the best you'd ever see him, really. Um, he was just being a great big man heel. I liked him as his heel on his way out of the WWF in 1996. He like was doing some good stuff as a heel, really. Like, he was just such a cocky badass. And, like, it was just weird, because he was, like, threatening Vince McMahon. And I'm sure this is, like, one of the first times on WWF that, um anyone's wrestlers acknowledged Vince McMahon as a kind of owner, authority figure, instead of just being an announcer guy. But yeah, that was interesting. And then it goes into one of my, what was one of my favourite matches of all time, but now I can't really pick that, but it's up there. The match against Mankind, ma Mind Games, god damn it. This is an inventive match for its time. It's brilliant stuff. The table spot in it is amazing. Great psychology of um, Shawn Michaels working on his claw there. Um, good stuff. Um, obviously, the actual decision lets it down. It ends on a DQ. But I still find the ending entertaining, even though it's full of run-ins. Uh, it's just the crowd are so hot for it. First Vader runs in, and then Shawn Michaels clotheslines him over, and then Psycho Sid comes and like starts punching Vader, and then Mankind's going to try and roll Shawn Michaels into this casket, then The Undertaker pops out, and the crowd go fucking crazy, and I thought that was a real entertaining way to end that pay-per-view, even if the decision of that match wasn't great. And then there's a the classic Hell in a Cell match versus Undertaker. What can be said about that that hasn't already been said? Great stuff. Um, just brutal and just awesome stuff for WWF at that time. I used to mark out at that like a bad boy. And um, it's still a good match now. But seeing as there's been so many Hell in the Cells since, I don't really look at it in the same kind of reverence. But I'm looking forward to seeing how their match is going to be at WrestleMania 25, obviously. And then the last match on here is Sean's comeback against Triple H at SummerSlam 2002. This is a classic match as well. Just great storytelling, great psychology. Great building in the match, great comebacks and selling by Shawn Michaels. It's just awesome. So it concentrates on all those matches and in between each of them, he's like talking a bit about them, saying how the build up was and what came into it. And it was good stuff, it was good format. And there's like plenty of DVD extras on here. This came out a few years ago anyway. Um, plenty of extras on here. I, one of the best things for me is it had the Rockers break up on it, and that is all-time classic. I always remember that from being a kid. It's great stuff. And, um, yeah, it has little eye dents and um, little promos for, like, the matches and the pay-per-views. So this is good stuff. If you've got Heartbreak and Triumph, the free disc, uh, and haven't got this... I'd suggest get this, because then it's like you have a complete set of Shawn Michaels' work. Well, not a complete set, you know, but like, it's, it complements each other. All the classic matches are on here, and on that one, there's like some good stuff as well. But overall, I do recommend this DVD, even if you're not like a big Shawn Michaels fan. There's like some great wrestling action on here, and... Just some awesomeness. And if you can pick it up for as cheap as I did, then that's even better. Alright guys, I'm off now. I'm sure I'll have a video for you soon. Cheers.